take such extreme measures, such unprecedented legal actions, because this is election interference of the worst kind. The Democrat Party does not want to lose power. It wants to be the only party in this country that has power, whether it's trying to stuff the Supreme Court with ideologues, whether it's trying to stuff the Senate with four more Democrat senators, whether it's trying to destroy the Electoral College so basically 14 blue states control popular votes in the elections, whether it's open borders and non-citizens, obviously aliens coming into this country by the millions, undermining this country every step of the way, brainwashing our children to hate America, going after parents who stand up for America and their students and their kids, going after pro-lifers who say enough of this weird form of eugenics that the Democrats have embraced for 100 years, uh, abortion on demand, pushing racism, and all the rest. This fits into this. The Biden crime family, Joe Biden, leads a crime family. The idea that he didn't know that tens of millions of dollars were coming in from the communist Chinese, from the Russians, from the Ukrainians, from the Romanians, and God knows who else, is a lie. Bobolinsky has said on the air, he has said on the record, he has said to the FBI as a eyewitness, more than credible, exceptionally credible, that Mr. Big in the emails is Biden. That 10% to Mr. Big was Biden. We have 20 shell corporations set up as LLCs so you, the American people, couldn't find them. That is to keep them secret. Over $10 million was laundered through those shell corporations. The Department of Treasury under Biden fought to get the wire information to try and track them so the committee had to go to the banks and so forth. Just as the Biden administration tried to cover up the allegation of a $5 million bribe from 